Hey everybody, this is Billy at Baker's Hill Tough, and we're out here with Ann Harris, and uh, she's going to be featured on our next edition of Baker's Hill Tough. Health South does a Overcoming the Odds section of the magazine. It's my favorite, uh, actually my favorite thing in the magazine, to be honest with you. I say it all the time, and it is. And uh, this story is amazing. We get a lot of people that, um, uh, we have our Miss Grit competitions, and we get a lot of people that throw photos in, and sometimes those photos and those stories are more than a Miss Grit, you know, of course. And this story, when I saw it, I was like, oh man. And of course, I remember reading about it when it happened. And um, I guess we'll just start. I mean, I'm welcome to Baker Show Tough, man. I'm glad you're here. And can we tell people your story? Do you mind? Okay, so let's let's talk about before. Obviously, you're here. You're in a wheelchair, right? And um, before you weren't always like this this yeah. this happened this was an accident that happened and uh, before can we tell people before the accident I mean you did a lot of stuff right Yeah, before the accident I was out here I had four horses I was taking care of and my friend let me take over one of them and then I did the drag racing and photography out there at Famoso and Vegas I did a lot for Vegas and really I mean I was all over Every time I heard a car was moving, I was inside of a vehicle. Yeah. Wow. I didn't want to stay in one spot. Right. Pretty active. Yeah. And then, I mean, one day it changes, right? I mean, it just, in an instant. Yeah. And what, can you tell people, do you mind telling people, like, what happened, or? I don't, I don't really remember, like, at all. Um, from my, the readings and the newspapers and the reports was that, I went to go pump my gas, and as I was pumping my gas, a drunk driver came across the intersection and hit my gas, uh, my car, while I was pinned behind it. Wow. And then the, the gas pump broke, and I flew with the gas pump as my little sister was in the front seat. She watched the whole thing. Wow. So it wasn't just like me by myself. Yeah. Uh... Man, you don't, I mean, that guy's so crazy. I mean, you, I mean, you're pumping gas. You're not even on the road. Yeah, I, don't, it's like, I don't remember a thing. Like, yeah. I don't remember April at all. There's, I woke up and it was about March, kind of end of March, end of April, beginning of March, and I was convinced I missed Easter. I didn't have Easter. And I made everyone go get me Easter baskets. Right. Is there a time when, like, I mean, you wake up from all this, right? And you're like, What's going on here? I mean, is there a time when you're like, is this really happening or did this really just happen? Or? When I woke up out of the coma because I was in it for 10 days mm -hmm. and um, I was convinced my horse did it. I told, because I guess my last memory was coming out here and barebacking with my friends that night uh, about two or three weeks before. And, um, you're right. And so when I woke up, I thought it was my horse and I told my mom to go kill my horse because I was terrified of it. <laughs> Did you feel bad later when it wasn't the horse? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, because when I woke up, I seen they had a big poster of him on the on the uh, wall, and I asked, "Why is there a cow on my wall?" And then that's when I told him to go kill him because I thought he did it. And then they told me that a drunk driver. Wow. I, I was always against drunk driving. I mean, I take friends home all the time. Yeah. Parents, they'd call me, and I'm like, sure. Right. You know. Yeah. You ain't gonna like it because I kind of give a lecture, but. Right. Yeah. And the what, what's inspiring though is that this is a horrible accident that has happened, and you're trying to make something positive out of it because you're trying to ride again. Yeah. Right. I mean, this is like that's what's so cool is that I mean, you know, it's hard because. It's, it's very hard when I have no control of my legs. So to get up there, it takes my dad and my boyfriend. He, my boyfriend will carry me up there. Yeah. And then I throw my legs across and my dad makes sure they're in the stirrups and then I kind of try to go from a balance. Yeah. But I've tried riding without the mod modifications to my saddle. Yeah. It didn't work too well. No? Yeah. I kind of fell on my face, but <laughs> Yeah. Okay. You know what they say when you fall off a horse, right? Gotta get right back up. Yeah. I and did last yesterday and I kind of got scared so I got back down. But yeah. it was saddle was too small and after kind of falling and not having control of your legs mm -hmm. and laying on the ground next, trying to figure out where your horse is after that, yeah. kind of scared me really bad. Right. I couldn't, I didn't know where she was. Right, and the, the custom saddle that you're going to have, right, will make it a little easier. I mean, is yeah. that going to make it easier? It's going to make it, I'm going to have a seatbelt that will go across my hips, and then I have two uh, 
Velcros on my legs to keep them against the stirrups. Yeah. And then um, I have a custom seat that has come wow. inside. It's amazing. That man. has like little air cones in it. Yeah. Knock it off. <laughs> Have you ever thought about getting back into dra uh, drag racing? Yep, I plan on it as soon as I can get the money and stuff to get yeah. <laughs> uh, hand controls. Yeah. I'm going to race the Hour Challenger to start out with wow. something slow before heading up. Yeah. I told everybody before my accident I wanted to race motorcycles. Yeah. And so everyone after my accident said, okay, we can still do that. And I was like, no, because I mean, Got right. two wheels and I got no legs, but right. they said a snowmobile. Yeah. So now you're are you, about that one. are you are you are you so as far as medically are you still is there stuff you're still doing or is it are you are you pretty much reached your medical end or how's that work? No, okay. I pretty much won't reach the end of it. I have um, severe UTIs now that put me in hospitals for weeks. Wow. Um, my back is completely severed. I have no spinal cord at T10, which is my belly button. So sitting on her, or sitting on the horse, or doing really much anything is pretty much cut below the belly button. So it's like really no balance. Yeah. And it, yeah, when I start getting sick, I lose, I start losing balance. It, that's incredible, man. It's uh, by, a lot of people you don't learn, really. You learn a lot of things. I mean, I've learned that there is so much out there that people don't understand. Yeah. What happened to the person that hit you? Or, I mean, are they, what ended up happening with that? Uh, February, I think it was, he was sentenced to uh, seven years, four months with a GBI, which is great bodily injury. Man. So, I mean, yeah. as of right now, I mean, that's all I've, we've really heard of. Yeah. Is it possible, like, I mean, it's, I don't even want to say, I mean, you got, how do you, I mean, can you ever get over it, like what happened? I mean, can you move on and not, when something happens like this, or is it always there? Yeah, you can. Just you gotta think positive and not let it control you. Right, yeah. I mean, you can't let the chair control what you want to do. Yeah, you're not the chair, right? You're yeah. a person. And you can't, I mean, you can't allow him to burn your life. Right. Well, it's, you know, this is an amazing story, and, uh, you know, I'm sure a lot of people root for you. I know how South is, and they were excited to have you on part with this deal. And, uh, of course, I'm excited to have you in BTUF Magazine. And, uh, yeah, you'll be featured up on our next issue. I'm excited. Very cool. And we're gonna fo we'll follow you, too, like, when you, do, when you actually get your saddle and uh, you get back into a drag, uh, drag car or something like that. We'd, I'd love to be there. I plan on doing barrels. You're gonna do some barrel racing? That's the goal? That's the goal. That's the, that's the huge goal. Well, I'll be there. At least maybe one race or go for it all. That's awesome. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Very cool. This is Leanne. This is Billy. And this is Baker Shell Tough.